Hi, friends. Well, I thought I was going to sit down and give you a brief uh, statement of my opinion about the water crisis here everybody's talking about on the north shore of Lake Chapala. But in order to make sure that I wasn't talking like a fool, I decided to do a little more research. And um, the little more research has led me to think that I should make a whole video about it, which I will. I will be expressing my opinions uh, formed of having watched the water in the lake come and go for 20 years and uh, other things that go on with regard to managing water. So I'll be making that video soon. Uh, oh, speaking of water, I have a, another reverse osmosis tabletop water purifier coming. It was supposed to be here about 10 days ago. Uh, but apparently it's on a slow boat from China. Actually, it was mailed from California and the U.S. Postal Service. And there's nothing wrong with the U.S. Postal Service as long as you're in the United States of America. But as soon as it hits the Mexican border, it goes into the Mexican Pony Express, and apparently they're short on ponies. It's been hung up in customs in Mexico City for about 10 days. Anyway, uh, you know, I did a reverse osmosis uh, portable uh, uh, water purifier. It's in my motorhome back up there in Arizona, and I've enjoyed using that. And I contacted that company and said, hey, I think we could use one of those in Mexico. But uh, there's shipping problems with them getting it to Mexico. And then negotiating with them, we didn't come to any resolution about uh, what I thought they ought to pay me to do that. <laughs> anyway, this other company uh, I found has one that I'm anxious to try. It sits on the tabletop, has its own pump, which solves some of the problems we have here in this area of Mexico where I live with the water. And, and of course, you can't drink it out of the tap. got to buy water to drink. Anyway, that's coming up soon, too. We'll be talking about water, but today... Uh, I think I'm just going to take you around and show you the completion of some of the projects we've been working on here at home. Thanks for being with me today. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Cutting tile for the mop board, so close. We're working on some Solitre repair. I know that looks terrible, and it is, but that wall should be somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 years old. I painted it red 20 years ago, and so there's been no maintenance on it. Um, this part over here, none, none of that going on whatsoever. Let's check the outdoor kitchen progress. Got a few things to put away, but the painting's all done. I got my bar refrigerator painted green to match. Real happy with the way the green tiles turned out. Got my son repainted and hung up there. Hung over there for years. Need to pressure wash the wall. Uh, I guess it's not quite done. Floor's all done. Everything's done except I'm going to build some drawers in that part. And this part over here, I'm going to just put doors on, wooden doors. The stove is hooked up and functional. The water is hooked up. The hot water heater I bought off of Vever online. A little two gallon hot water heater. Works on just uh, 900 watts, so I didn't need any heavy wiring to come and 
do an instant hot water heater, it's working perfectly. Real happy with how this is turning out. I think I showed you the fan before. Lights it up nicely at night, just right. The other project out here, the column, This is the base and the sections of the column. And we're turning this into, we're building a column. Well, I say we. Juan is building a column. That thing weighs a couple of hundred pounds. See, quitar a tubos. Poner castillo. Oh, uh, más alambre para otra parte del castillo, see? No, tengo una. Oh, you tengo? Si. Sí. Tiene? Si. Sí. Okay. Tiene pincers? Mm, sí, tengo. Quiero, quiero. Tiene. Up and over the Castillo. Whoa! A ver. Oh, mira. Repainting the frog. Oops. Do you suppose that will help me with my gardening? I'm going to mount that frog up here on top of the new column. Silicone. Well, the whole purpose of this column was to replace the old stump of the avocado, which rotted and fell down and no longer supported this plant and some other plants that need to get re-supported by that. But here we go with Mr. Frog up there on top, checking everything out in the yard. So... <laughs> so why a frog? Well, first of all, because I have a frog. But why do I have a frog? For years in our married life, most of all of our married life, Lynn told everybody that I collected frogs, which I did not. But every Christmas, birthday, every occasion where you could get a gift, I got frogs. I probably had the largest collection of frogs in the state of Oregon. <laughs> so, frogs have been a part of my life, not by choice, but by Lynn's sense of humor.
Speaking of projects, did I mention chocolate chip cookies with walnuts? I keep getting requests for more Lynn in my videos. <laughs> uh huh. How are There's the more Lynn. How are the chocolate chip cookies? The chocolate chip cookies are really good. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you like them. I love them. Yeah. I love them. I love you. And I love you. And you have a dark tooth from chocolate chips. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, um, people always like to hear you sing. Can't sing with your mouth full of cookie. No, I can't. You got any new songs? I have to think of a song. Okay, well, you keep thinking. Maybe okay. we'll check with you later, okay? Okay. Okay. It's a deal. It's a deal. Venga, amigo. Huh? Venga. We have uh, new concrete. That part is primered. I will be doing the red paint. Monday? Quiere que le eche fondo aquí porque no tiene? Huh? Fondo. Fondo? Hey. Uh, okay. Sí, porque es el carre. Okay, está bien. Y acá era, Jerry. Huh? Mira. Aquí también, mira, fondo, mira. Oh, ok. Porque es en jarre. Sí. Ya tú de está, madera. Ya eh, sí, está bien. Ok. Says he needs to primer that part of the new concrete as well. Juan is the cleanest painter I've ever worked with. I've had other painters work for me and tell me that cleaning up the floor wasn't part of a painting job. They don't work for me anymore. <laughs> Uh, over here, salitre fixes. That's primered. That's primered. Some of that's primered. The dark patch is just uh, still waiting to dry a little bit more before we primer it. So why am I making a YouTube channel about uh, all of this maintenance stuff? Well, if you're interested in moving to Mexico, these are things you will be dealing with every year. I love to live where there's palm trees. Here, check this out. I love living where there's palm trees. This fell down in the night. Kaboom. It happens. Let's see how Mr. Frog is doing this morning. Mr. Frog. We need a name for Mr. Frog. Got a good name for Mr. Frog? Put it in the comments. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.